Hello everyone, we are from group 1 1. For CE Lab 3, we have chosen to study on the activated sludge process in wastewater treatment industry. Allow me to introduce my group members. The first one is Noor Shahira, the second one is Siti Afrina, the next one is Badur Amin, myself, Darren Paulus, and last but not least, Peggy Lu. What is wastewater? Wastewater is a polluted form of water generated from the rainwater runoff or from the human activities. How to treat the wastewater? Typically, we have different types of treatment. For example, there's physical water treatment, biological water treatment, chemical immobilization, and sludge treatment. And we have chosen the activated sludge process, which is widely used because of its great efficiency in removing dissolved gases and nutrients, as well as oxidation of dissolved solids, including volatile materials. The elimination of the pollutants in the activated sludge process is carried out by a bacterial biomass suspension. Hi, I am Bajul. I will present about the statement and objectives of the project. Wastewaters are generated in a massive amount on a daily basis, creating issues such as water crisis and environmental damage. Next, process control system is a crucial part of wastewater treatment industry, but there are some limitations of the current process control system. Lastly, there are still a few challenges in the control system. The first objective of the project is to study the activated slash process as waste control system in wastewater treatment. Second objective is to review the use of radial basic function neural network based adaptive proportional integral derivative control system in activated slash process. The last objective is to study the challenges of current control system application in wastewater treatment industry. Hi, my name is Noor Shahara and I will explain the process control system. The performance of the proportional integral derivative PID and the radial basis function neural network based adaptive proportional integral derivative RBF and NPID have been tested and observed. The structure of the RBF neural network used is 361 which means there are three nodes for the input layers, six nodes for the hidden layers and one node or for the output layers. The tuning parameter of both controller are constants which are Kc equals to 5, Ti equals to 1 and Td equals to 0 0.5. Next, the learning rate is set at 0 0.2, the momentum factor is set at 0 0.05 and the sampling period is 0 0.001 seconds. The simulation result in the figure 3.2, 3.3, 3.4 and 3.5 show that when the influent flow rate and quality change significantly, it is difficult to maintain the dissolved oxygen concentration at the set point under the control of the conventional incremental PID controller. But by modifying the airflow, RBF and NPID can efficiently maintain the dissolved oxygen concentrations with a minimal error around the specific values as shown in the figure 3.6, 3.7, 3.8 and 3.9. We can achieve a more stable situation by supplying only little air to the aeration tank. This can be achieved by utilizing RBF and NPID. It can minimize or reduce the cost of aeration which is one of the primary electrical costs of wastewater treatment operation that can be supported by the data reported in table 3.1 and 3.2. Based on the figure 3.5, 3.4, 3.8 and 3.9, the RBF and NPID controller is more faster and accurately track the target output value of the trajectory that indicate it is not only has a great and good tracking performance but also has a greater and strongest ability of the anti-disturbance which are rain and storm weather compared to the PID controller. Figures 3.10, 3.11, 3.12 and 3.13 illustrate the curve of the PID parameters that are being changed dynamically and adaptively. By using a suitable process control system, it is not only preventing sludge bulking but also reduces the aeration energy in a wastewater treatment plant. The simulation result proof and show that RBF and NPID algorithm performs better and it can greatly improve the control of the dissolved oxygen concentrations in reactor 5 than the PID algorithm in terms of tracking, anti-jamming, and robustness. As a result, it can lower the cost of the aeration of the wastewater treatment plant that perform the activated sludge processes. Hi, I'm Peggy. I will talk about the challenges in the control of activated sludge process ASP in wastewater treatment industry. The first challenge is the fluctuation in dissolved oxygen DO concentration. During the process, 
A minor change in the wastewater system, such as change in flow rate and wastewater temperature, can have an impact on the DO concentration. If it is too high, more energy will be wasted while the treatment performance will be lowered when it is too low. The non-linearity and disturbance in the process make it difficult to manage the DO concentrations using the control system. The second challenge is the energy consumption in ASP. The two figures show the breakdown of energy usage in wastewater treatment industry. From the figures, we can see that the most significant energy consuming part is the aeration, which accounts for over 70% of the energy needed in secondary treatment of municipal wastewater facilities. Therefore, the challenging part is to maximize the use of energy so that the energy consumption will be lower. The last challenge is the wastewater sludge disposal. Excess sludge generated from the process is one of the challenging issues because the cost of treating excess sludge could be as much as 25-65% to of the entire plant running cost. Increased generation of excess sludge poses a serious issue in the field of environmental engineering technology due to population and industry growth. Therefore, it is important to examine ways for minimizing sludge generation through process control. We are now moving on to the recommendation that can be taken in the current process with the aid of activated sludge to improve the whole wastewater treatment. One of the treatment is by combining AI technology with WWTP box model. The expertise of AI includes the expert system, natural language processing, speech recognition, and also mission vision. Hence, the implementation of AI in WWTP will increase the efficiency of the supervisory control system. Second is to practice the usage of MVS in box model as it is utilized by the wastewater system monitoring and also time series modeling for forecast. This method aids to induce the suitable control action when the plant performance is declining and it could lessen the modeling errors. And last but not least, the usage of black box and ANN is more effective as it could detect the nonlinear relationship that occurs due to the complexity of the system. The concentration of DO can be maintained approximately 2 mg per liter and also enables the user to differentiate the influence load at three levels from low to high by measuring the oxygen uptake rate in the activated sludge tanks. In conclusion, activated sludge process has a very high efficiency of removing the pollutants. Besides, it is very simple and effective with the help of process control system. It also costs very low energy and cost consumption. That is all from us. Thank you.